Okay, be on the beef. Good to see you again. He's got his reasons, and when that man gets a notion stuck in his head, he's like a big horn or bull that's seen red. And if it means Heck Gunderson's involved, then you better step aside before the stampede tramples you over. Uh, by the way, from fun notes, uh, bulls, and in this case, big horners, don't exactly see red color and recognize it as red color. Uh, they are more like uh, blinded by the arena and environment of this shit. And this is because they are going mad. It's more like, you know, they are provoked to be mad. Uh, and fight rather than, you know, red color. Uh, Sharp have red color because it's work for humans who are in audience. I, I must stop being a nerd. If that's what you want to talk about, go see Walter. He'll talk your ear off. Everything he says about the evils of Heck Gunderson is true, but I've never held the notion that fighting evil with evil carries the world forward. I don't suppose... Howdy, son. How can I help you? But make it quick. Goddamn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. Sharp eyes on you, all right. We've gone through a heap of trouble to get in town. Ethel says I just need to wet my throat. A drink? Nonsense. All I need now is to settle a score. We didn't come a long ways just to stroll our best clothes around. Darn far it is. Bighorn is my trade since I was a young'un. I confess it's hard living these days, kid. The wasteland ain't the same anymore. Mm hmm. No, I know it better than my wife's corset. What about it, kid? Oh. Stealing our pure breed resolve, that's how. We placed the wasteland right in the old mug and told her to shove it. Listen, we own these lands, and I'll be damned if the NCR, those Legion bastards, or anyone else tries to walk all over us. Hell, it's all dangerous. Know why? Because you can't trust anything that stands on two legs. If you're looking for real trouble, head straight into the mountains. Men don't walk up there, for good reasons, kid. Listen, we own these lands. What the fuck? Okay. I got some time. What's eating you? Okay. What'd you want to know? Bighorn is my trade since I was a young'un. I confess, it's hard living these days, kid. Uh, okay, this is al -Bagd. Darn far it is, our ranch. Ethel would be happy to yap about that. I got more important things in mind, kid. There's a long list of grievances that Heck Gunderson... If he ain't chiseling behind your back, he just sends his men ready for a fight. Then you either sell your ranch for a penny... Or you're dead. I'm tired of being trampled over, kid. And I got a good mind to stop Heck once and for all. We are honest folk out there. Damn hard to make a living in the desert, kid. Heck's a different breed. Goddamn thief he is. Scaring us into giving away our lands is all he's done to strike it flush. Comes packing iron and none can hold a candle to his men. Bad blood. What more you want? He's a slithering snake, what he is. One of the biggest landowners this side of the Colorado, and it's all stolen, I tell you. All that money buys him any NCR senators he wants. Scoundrels like heck. 
There's just no way for us small folks to get by, much less prosper, kid. I see. I have no illusions that he'll ever stop his plundering, so I'm just going to make him suffer. That's what I'm going to do. Here in town, he's got a few of his armed men to protect him. I just got to find out what he's up to, and then I'll know where to hit him hard. I'm not fucking sure. All right, kid. I'm taking a liking to you. It's a deal. Where I come from, we appreciate good intentions. I reckon you could help me figure out what he's doing in town. Tell you what, that chiseler's blowing hot air over at that there fancy casino, the Ultra Lux. Find out what's his story here, will you? Hmm. Okay, so I can get XP now. That's okay, kid. I understand. Let me know if you change your mind, will you? All right, kid. Be good. It's kind of annoying when they call you kid. It's like, you know, game basically was prepared for you to create young character. Come on. Time to get lucky. On the way. Good to see you again. Oh, a good ways west of here, in a place you've never been. Far as we're concerned, only name it ever had was Phoebus Ranch. That was before we lost some land to Heck Gunderson. The bank demanded payment in full the day after the Stockman's Association bailed it out. A good life, if you don't mind hard work. The only real fuss is the constant bother with varmints. Fail to catch mole rats early in their breeding, and you'll have three or four head breaking their ankles in mole rat holes every day. Of course, the worst varmint of all is a Brahmin baron with his hands in the pockets of a Republic senator. That's a problem you can't solve with a varmint rifle, though I fear my husband's apt to try. He's got Heck Gunderson in his sights right now. Mm hmm. I'm done talking about that man. If that's what you want, step on over to Walter. As I was saying, I'd be grateful if you could convince Walter to give up this doomed crusade of his. That's very kind of you. Maybe this will be the dawn of a new day. Honestly, I have fucking no idea. Like, biggest problem with this shit is that... Hey. Uh, you see, in most quests, you, in some quests, you have endings that basically could tell you what you did and how good it was. However, this specific quest is clearly only your morality and your own choices. So you can, for example, convince them to give up on revenge. When, in my opinion, they might be uh, like right to do so. However, um, opportunity behind this quest is kind of weird. Uh, because you also might have morality to not let these guys become cannibals again. Howdy. Good Okay. I can't. Like I said. That's. Howdy. Good. <laughs> okay. Good to see you. Uh, so hmm. 
Honestly, I would love to hack this quest. Beg your pardon, but I'm afraid those are the rules. If you don't like it, you can take your business elsewhere. Uh, I don't have quick save. Fuck, I don't wanna be a pussy, but I don't have quick save. Because you see, I wanna choose this option uh, and check if they will start shooting me and if I can go away and then return and everything will be fine or not. My deepest apologies for the slightest in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. I just wanted to have my blood nap with me. Okay, let's make quick save. Hey, beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't. Uh... You got a lot of nerves. You did. Uh. Yep, got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. Used to just have the one ranch, but land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there resent success, might want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. My boy, Ted, he was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Hmm. That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. They're the ones dressed all fancy with their bow ties and shiny dresses. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. A couple of them show their faces, and that's who I do my business with. I don't talk to none of the other ones. I'll be here. Okay, we basically know the reason why is he here. And now we can talk to... The guy. Uh, which is good. Howdy. No, oh, be damned. You mean the young Gunderson? That's a shave tail if I ever saw one. He's got less sense than a Brahmin at a crossroads. I'd not be one to complain if you got lost for good, kid. If it makes Hex suffer, then I'm all for it. So Ted's nowhere to be found, and Hex quite unprotected while looking for him, huh? Hell, it sounds like the perfect time to get even. Hex won't know what hit him. What do you say? Oh. Okay, let's go with this shit. Sure, kid. And I still hump like a buck in spring. 
That Gunderson's a liar and born of a viper, I swear. I would love to... I mean, this is too reasonable to pass it out. A ransom? I doubt that snake's got enough soul to care that much for his own youngin. Besides, what's to stop him after his son's return? No, heck only knows greed and pain, kid. It's high time he got paid back in kind. His life or his son's. Either way, I win. <sighs> Uh, I hear you. What's on your mind? One moment, please. Apparently, apparently, uh, did, did you saw it? Basically, eighty for five hundred and ninety for one thousand. So this is kind of bullshit. But anyway, I'm not here to complain, I'm here to collect. Howdy. I'll pay that much and die a happy man when my time comes. So we got a deal? Hmm. Okay, I can talk to him when I'm ready to help him. Good to see you. Okay, this is done. I have four, four hundred right now, which is very good. Mm. And problem with Hack Garden Saloon is that he really uh, calls himself honest. Which makes it quite hard because uh, these two guys say he's dishonest and dialogue with his son later also uh, claim that he is powerful and he is able to cripple entire white law society. If, uh, if you, you told him the truth or let him do it basically. Which is quite interesting because you see, he is biggest rancher, so he might have this power now. But he might not always have this power. What the hell's going on in your crazy head? Hmm. Exactly. Exactly, lady. Honestly, it's very hard to make decision about this quest without, you know, taking sides. Uh, because if you wanna be fair and square... I mean, uh, we all know that, you know, uh, the, that there is like one ending that basically is m most funny. And this is the most uh, intentional ending. However, I'm willing to check others. Okay, uh, I have quick save. Idea right now is to agree and see if I can talk him out after that. Uh -huh. Okay, I can pass both checks, which is Aveson. That's what we said. Okay. Howdy. And I can still back down. Easy. Take Gunderson from Walter. Easy. <laughs> uh, you know what bothers me? I can sneak grenade. Like, uh... Beg your pardon. Uh, my fragments are considered holdout weapon. And this is floor manager, most likely. 
Ah não, aí. Did I missed? The fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Let let's me see what it's blow. I hit something. Okay, let's let's just say it hit there. It will reach them. I have splash damage, so my our grenades are basically kilometers range. Okay, let's just say I'm fucking pussy and I can't throw grenade properly. Yeah, that would be about right. You have <laughs> this deserves a good compensation, kid. How does that sound? I'm a man of my word. Here's your money. You've earned it. Okay. What's interest me most right now? What's up? Is if this casino even functional now. Also quest is kind of failed, so Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to Okay, this is extremely anticlimactic and mm. Let's just say like I just wanted to try this option. Holy shit, we will spend fucking three hours making this quest, aren't we? Like if we consider my extremely fucking terrible mm -hmm. things going out uh, on right there, it might be that. I mean, maybe I will be able to find tiered options, like, I don't know, convince Hag Gunderson to, you know, cooperate with that uh, Phoebus, maybe. Like, I don't know, uh, let him have his uh, part of his land back in exchange for making some, you know, some alliance or something. Like if this guy is willing to give so much money. You ain't heard anything about my boy, have you? Ain't got one.
Okay. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs. There'd be a lot of mud. And if he ain't. Goodbye. Okay, that basically starts me a quest beyond the beef. Not not bad. One hour in the video scar. Okay, we have like 400 for discovering the, uh, that his son is missing, what you can basically do with sim a single line of dialogue, so it's very easy. Get Ted back to his father. Okay, that's basically one way. Yes. Hello there. Oh, by the way, if you didn't saw, uh, killing Heck Gunderson didn't grant me positive karma, which means he has not negative karma. Good day. Oh, well, she, you can. Farewell. Mm hmm. Okay, he's not going anywhere. Good day. How may I be of service? Splendid, splendid. The boy is being held in the kitchen beneath the gourmand. Here are some keys that will allow you access to him. The Elder Gunderson is staying in our penthouse. I understand he's hired security, so be careful if you go up there. And our Mr. St. Clair resides to the north. He rarely strays far from his house, and he surrounded it with booby traps. Indeed. Okay, I have every single key I could even dream of. Mm. Wait. Uh, I might be in my own corner right now. Now we wanna find... We wanna make sure we can... Not hotel rooms. Gourmand. I I hate this word. I absolutely have no clue what it even means. Anyway, there is like proper line of quest. Like you know, there is good way, bad way. Welcome to the Ultra Lux. There is cheese way. This. Okay, let me just skip these dialogues because he's she's boring. Okay, nice. And now you can trigger a second branch of quests with Mortimer. However, we don't wanna do it. Now we have confirmation that uh, Ted Gunderson indeed is here in the freezer. Tell me good news. You watch yourself around, Mr. Gunderson. Tell me good news. Okay, never mind. We have nothing yet. Good day. How may I be of service, sir? Ah, yes. I've heard that one too. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for Oh, them. yes. I can assure you that the only thing the White Glove Society is guilty of is preparing the tastiest cuisine you'll ever sample. Oh, that's great. That is, of course, if you can afford it. Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. 
If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? You are. Nothing so grim as his investigation, I hope. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think given the... Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. If you... Okay, good. Hmm... Well, I wanna, uh, like... Evening. You see, I have K. I just wonder at which point I can tell Hegg Anderson that I know his son is there. Okay, this is kind of extreme, but I can do it. <laughs> I'm so glad I have it on video. I already did that before, but with only one grenade. Yeah. Honestly, it was worth paying additional grenade. The fuck? Okay, this is like... This is so weird, I never had body like that in this game. And I play for a while. Okay, this is extremely good. Let me check the clues. Meet with the... Investigator contact, yes. Stats... Uh, data. Inside data you have this. Okay, he should be reachable by now. So is the man I'm supposed to be meeting here. Where is he? Oh my goodness me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Mortimer, if he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. Yes, the White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. I see. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. The girl, the one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. Because I distracted her fiance while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the white gloves began meeting privately a while back, started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. 
Mm hmm. He's alive, as far as I know. I'm trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at seven. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping them near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members-only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You'd certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation. And it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. I see. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. Mm. I don't know exactly. Mm. Uh, what if I say goodbye? Probably nothing. Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if? What if his revelation were a lie? If you could. Yeah. Goodbye. Trigger. He's dead. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? I did not. Fuck, 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 my, 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 my life. I'm surprised this assassin is even alive after this. Not many people leave my grenades, including me. Okay. So I have sponsor. I waste so many fucking grenades. And uh, did you saw it? I basically clicked uh, beer. Okay, I'm hiding. Perfect. Well, I can live with this one granite waste. It's not that big deal. Casino floor and gourmand. Now I can become a member. This is probably best... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. No. This is good, yes. Boot. Hey. 
ideally for me as opportunistic bitch would be basically replace uh, Heck and Ted in place. Tell me good news. He's here? Bless you. I thought he was a goner for sure. Listen, you do what you reckon you might need. Uh, sadly, you get this stupid ammo way too late. Yeah, you get ammo and probably save off shotgun, unless save off is holdout weapon. Would it be fucking holdout weapon and would I have it on me? I doubt it. Okay, this is my thing. I got it from Gunderson. You watch yourself around, Mr. Tell me good news. Gunderson. Okay. Humbly at your service. Oh fuck, I forgot I was doing, I was doing it for this. fucking hours. Um, because you see, I was uh, playing without recording as always. How may I be of service? And decided sir? to go back to record everything. Hmm. You'll have to look elsewhere, I'm afraid. The whole idea of joining the White Glove Society is pure hogwash. You're either in it or you're not. There's no joining. This honorary member nonsense is just something Marjorie contrived because she's so preoccupied with image. But it's only a once it Okay. So he's not into that. However, he told us Marjorie is into that. So we're going to Marjorie. Hey Marjorie. I wanna become a member of your pack. Um. <laughs> Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. I mean... Why, yes, of course. The White Glove Society is the most exclusive club in all of New Vegas. Perhaps the entire world. It's only natural that you'd need a sponsor from within the club who can vouch for your good name. Originally, we didn't allow anyone else in, you see. Founding members only. We thought exclusivity would make us the envy of everyone, who's anyone. And it has. But then I had the idea to allow honorary members. Lower in status, naturally. But it just makes people want to be us even more. <laughs> and the right people could certainly do wonders for our image. Celebrities, philanthropists, we want only the very best. And you most certainly fit the bill. Given your deeds on the strip alone, I can safely say that you would be a prized addition to our honorary ranks. You have my full support, and you are welcome to join us at our nightly banquets in our special section of the Gourmand. I hope to see you there. Ta-ta! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. How may I be of service? Okay, Mortimer is in this weird state right now. Let me see local map, I wanna see...
members only section okay yes this is a special section where only i can go as member Basically, looting from there can take eternity. Look at this shit. This is the best time to loot from there, because later there will be plenty of people. You were invited here by Marjorie, so it's not like, you know, you are here illegally. Oh, holy shit, it's always so much fucking... Fuck, no, 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 no. Everything goes to shit. No, I don't want it to go there. Why? Because it's my objective. Uh, we wanna save. And we wanna experiment a little bit. Okay, this is all empty. It's always good to check. All these monitors are broken. These all are empty. You look like you'd be more at home at one of the other hotels. I see. Yeah. Greetings. So glad you could be here tonight. I had hoped you would join us. Okay, she is she's there. But Mortimer is not. Okay, I am sp I'm member now. I will see if I have additional dialogues with Hag Anderson. <laughs> Mortimer is gone. I have my trusty shotgun. Evening. Tell me good news. Nothing. Okay, I was hoping you can basically take him to the basement gun blazing and you know do piff puff puff and mm, you know. Anyway, at least we know that Heg Gunderson is not exactly good man. Like, too many people confirm the story that he is evil. Including his son, who will soon show you. Okay. 
Okay, I will click save here because this is very hard part of the quest. Because you see, I can easily do piff puff puff the entire quest. Okay, okay, okay. Hardest part of the quest. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. Don't make eye contact with me. Look at the floor and get back to work. <laughs> I thought I told you to get lost. What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? I yell at people because I like yelling at people. Not because they <laughs> fucking deserve it. Not because Mumsy and Daddykins didn't hug me enough. Oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. Or because my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Or because my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. And my brother... God, I'd forgotten about that. How could they do that to me? I can't stay here. I need to be alone. Leave me alone. Haven't you done enough? Leave me alone. Haven't you done enough? About time. Okay. Let me see quests. <sighs> I can drink the wine. Honestly, I have no idea um, which option would be best. Because I think I made branching dialogue wrong and I do not have option to replace Ted with his father. Which will be probably best option for not only the money but also for what? If I drag the wine Everyone will be knocked unconscious. And I could get Ted back to his father, tell them everything. I don't know. It seems wrong. I mean, I can do classic road, but it's fucking garbage trash and later kill, kill Ted. Or hack, or bot. Shit, okay. Okay, let's do plastic, but it's very buggy. Holy fuck, this will really be three hours video. I'm almost fucking sure. You wanna survive? You still wanna fucking medicine spike. You wanna do both because you fucking 
Don't give a shit. How many? Time to serve the meal. Take my food, take it. <sighs> Good goodbye. Okay. Now it's hardest part of the quest because you wanna get Ted out of this place. <sighs> you can even hard save. I mean, this is really hard. Like. I mean, if a game would not be buggy, it will be easy. The buggy game is fucking hard. As for stealing the shit, I don't fucking care really. As you see, most of this is empty. So you have to be very selective. Like this. Yeah, you can really steal a lot from there. This is huge kitchen, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know if dragging the wine does not re ruin at my quest, but I don't give a fucking shit. Disengage lock. He's hide it. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. My daddy sent you? God damn it! I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. All right, fine. Okay, now you wanna basically abuse one one aspect of the game. But I have a few words if I Donna. may. There was a time not so long ago when we were bound together not as members, but as family, as a clan. And when Mr. House came to us with his proposal, we accepted, knowing we stood to gain much. Little did we know how much we'd lose in the process. As a society, we've Donna. endeavored to sample the finest food and drink the world has to offer. But we are living a lie. 
There is a meat sweeter than the most corn-fed livestock. Most of you have tasted it. All of you have coveted it. Among us, it is a crime to discuss a return to the old ways that you know. We wanna take my favorite weapon. Tonight, that all changes. The taboo ends. Let me finish, Marjorie. You don't know it yet, but you are all now guilty of a greater crime. One that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also a renewed discussion. For our society to be truly elite, we must dine on the most delicious, the most exclusive food known to us. And tonight, for the first time as a society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bon appetit. What the? Who is this trespasser? What are you? Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? No! These are lies! I never kidnapped anyone! And even if I did, there's no harm done. He's alive, after all! You're all hypocrites. How can you claim to be connoisseurs yet deny yourselves the greatest of all meats? I am ashamed to have once called everyone here family. This isn't over, though. I'll begin anew. The White Glove Society will never achieve the greatness of my new order. You'll all hear from me again. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm. I'm. I'm sure about this. He's being gone. For, gone for good once he. Cross that place, so we. Okay, okay, fuck, fuck this man. I like. I, you, you, my love, but I fucking need this. Okay, maybe I should go let him get away. I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't wanna lose reputation. I know how to not lose reputation, but it involves me throwing grenades, which would probably involve killing entire society. <laughs> Almost. Why shouldn't I? Oh, I, I, I have a weapon in public. Yes, I, I am not shunned by killing Mortimer. I'm shunned by having weapon in public. Which? Uh, so sorry that you have to see this because I just basically don't want to kill Mortimer like Barbarian because it's stupid. Ach, that's so epic. Over here. Nope. 
By the way, imagine killing. I will never kill Mortimer. This is normal bug, it's nothing compared to... Why I, what I had it here before. How do you fare? Uh, honestly, I think... Uh, okay, I will quick save here. And uh, uh, this is quickest road because he will spawn uh, in uh, in other cell when I enter. See, he's here. Now he's spawn in this seal. Beg your pardon. Yeah, whatever you say. Goodbye. And now. It's much easier to push around. Like Prim Vito, the new sheriff. Ah, uh, good, good jokes. Best jokes. Subscribe, please. Oh my god. Ted, are you alright? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. Okay. We wanna talk to Marjorie. Why? Because I never did that before in in this uh, in this stage of quest. Oh, we wanna find more Timmer body. If I would be body of Mortimer, I will be here probably. Look at this guy. You can search him. Hey. Uh, probably game. Game didn't plan that to happen. Like I do a lot of things that game never planned to happen. Uh, so. Yeah, it's my natural talent of uh, finding every single bug and call it proper way to play the game. Because it's fun. Like, honestly, why would you block that fun? Anyway, there is Marjorie, and she should basically honor me as a good member. Hey, Marjorie, I made you not be cannibal. Oh. Thanks for the fame. Idolize it, idolize it. Being an honorary member isn't the same as being a real member. Uh, being honorary member, yes, yes. Imagine being honorary member, like some, like some pleb, not like you. Uh, oh, super member, so... Uh. They must have spent a fortune renovating this <laughs> You need to be intentionally pretentious when you are in white glow society. This is like, this is the way to go. You got me my boy back. I got no words. Now, I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. Oh, oh, you did, you did. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Heck Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole.
I don't like this place. Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it has flooded my nostrils. But you got a point. They're already hell-bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. Wait. Why did I fail the quest, PB Swield? Wait the fuck a moment. Okay, Mr. Fucking Hag Anderson, I don't give a shit about you. This is what you get. Yeah. This is for treating the street. Okay, anyway. Uh... Uh, I didn't fail, please. I just, yes, I, yes, I kind of... Holy fuck. I had no idea. Okay. Okay. And uh, dude, these quests are so fucking hardcore. Look at this. This dependency is out of nowhere, really. Like, why he disappeared? Damn, this loading times killing my fucking... Oh no, this is infinite load back, right? Yes, game game can can't really. Yeah, this is infinite loading. Okay. The best I can do now is basically a quick back to New Vegas. Don't worry, it's uh, basically starting itself relatively fast. I wonder if I lose the screen for entire of the stream, but I don't care. I don't have good saves, so I hope my quick save will be a notch. I especially optimize my game to work fast and load decently. Howdy. Kid, look around. What? Hey. Sorry, but I don't. Good. Okay, this is all I wanted. And uh, since you can't finish this quest normally. Okay, let me also check something else. Beg your pardon. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm already honorary member of this place, you piece of shit. I am fucking honorary member of this, understand? You fucking stupid eyes, bullshit guy. You got me my bo- No. The heck I don't. It's their support that gives these bastards power. They all... All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it... Try not to...
You done right, buddy. You know, if you knew what you were doing, I, I could have been out of there hours ago. Okay. Well. I'm just I'm just checking my possibilities, okay? Basically this is a speech check for last tiny bit of points of reputation. Beg your pardon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, goodbye, of course. You got me my You know if you knew what you were doing, I could have been out of there hours ago. I appreciate it. Hello. Okay, that will be basically it, unless we can check a last thing. If I kill him and t tell that guy I killed him, what will happen? Oh please, no, 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 I'm, I'm stunned. Okay, that will be it because I would have to restart again.